Alright guys, so some people have asked me to show you how I mounted my Minn Kota trolling motor and my battery onto my uh, Lifetime Tamarack kayak. So, uh, first of all I want to let you know I'm using a Duracell battery. It's 55 amp hours and I rode 3 hours yesterday um, out on the lake running this thing anywhere between 1 and 4. Uh, it is a 5 power trolling motor. And I rode three hours, and I still had 60% battery charge left, according to the battery indicator on the battery box and my charger when I got home to recharge the battery. So uh, I made everything kind of loose just so I could make this video shorter for you guys. Um, I am using a Endora 30-pound thrust. I wouldn't recommend using more than that. This thing was really scooting across the water yesterday. So this was $80 on Amazon box was 65 the battery was 150 uh, the unistra I had at my house so it was free the brackets were free and the iso pads were probably $13 if I remember right so uh, first of all I'm gonna take the battery box off for you show you how I mounted that so this is super cool um, you can get these, you can get these for like 12 bucks they're not as cool as this one I paid a little bit more for the convenience of the wing nuts and the strap and it just looks a little bit better I think it also has USB port and a 12 volt port on the back so we're gonna just snap this off here battery box lid comes off real easy just like that I already took the battery out for convenience so we'll move these wires out of the way so we can get up underneath here um, I can pull these bolts off show you how I got this thing mounted here um, I am going to seal it with some waterproofing silicone just so it doesn't leak it didn't leak or nothing on me but this will just pull right up yep real easy see so close this now so I'll show you I used an iso pad here and an iso pad here on this bolt um, like that so it offsets it a little bit there because this is not flat here. I just drilled through the kayak, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna silicone around these, and I'll put dabs of silicone here, and then on the back side here, and on the inside underneath the washers here, and then I'll go ahead and bolt all of that together, tighten it all up, let it sit for a few days in the warm garage, and it should be good and sealed and ready to go. Now I did modify my strap that went across back here. Um, I can put my tackle box right here underneath this one it pushes it right up against that real nice and then I use this one to go over the top of this and it holds it in there real nice so uh, that's how I did that it was real simple uh, it took me probably an hour if that so as far as how the trolling motor goes on here this is probably the most important part uh, you would think it sits off balance it doesn't really I mean you could sit one inch to the left on the kayak and offset it pretty easily um, the battery on the back is not nearly as bad as you think it would be. Uh, the water was still probably up to here, uh, which I would consider pretty good. So this here comes off real easy. Uh, I did use another ISO pad here. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure my camera focuses. So I put an ISO pad here. I ripped off one of the rubbers just to get the height proper. And then this clamps on perfectly to my Unistrut now. So let's go ahead and pull this off. Um, and I usually put the trolling motor and the battery on a, on a dolly, and I just dolly it down to the dock. <coughs> and then I dolly the kayak down when I'm done with that. So I'll set this over here real fast. Alright, so on this, there's that piece of iso pad I used there. Um, these are the ISO pads here. I mean, that's what they look like. You could use other stuff too. Uh, I did use another one <coughs> underneath these bolts here. I put a piece of rubber just so it wouldn't, the metal wouldn't dig into the plastic anywhere on the kayak. Um, these brackets are super thick right here, so they won't bend or move at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off for you real quick. One second. I 
and I'm using a 5 8 and a 3 quarter nut and bolt setup. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off. I am going to reseal this one as well. Uh, I don't think any moisture really got in, but better safe than sorry. I mean, it's super, super sturdy on the water. Um, the motor doesn't torque at all on the Unistra. You can't feel it. You can't feel it with the kayak at all. Uh, the only time it torqued is when I went into uh, the fifth speed. So I just drilled some holes here, made sure they were exactly where they needed to be. Uh, the cool thing about this is, so here's the rubber pieces I used. Um, that's a three hole bracket again. I mean, it's pretty thick. I wanted to make sure it was thick, and you can see it's kind of curved, so I use that curve to my advantage. Uh, same thing on this one here. So, a little curved. I use that curve to my advantage again, um, set in this way. That way, it doesn't have any flex and it doesn't bow at all. Uh, now on this, you can see you have larger holes here, so you don't have to you don't have to be a hundred percent accurate on where you drill your holes. You do have a little bit of sliding play. Um, I'm going to repaint these bolts and these nuts just so everything matches real nice. But I mean that's pretty much how I did it, guys. Real simple. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment, and I'll answer to the best of my ability.